Well, wait until DuckTales returns this year to confirm that. Then there's the apps. There's literally one called the How Much Farther app, which shows the progress of the road trip. Another one can be used to control the entertainment and climate systems, and it can send directions from your phone to your Odyssey's nav. It also has a playlist function that lets eight people create personalized music choices and uploads it to the audio system. As far as hardware, Honda is dialing up Disney levels of magic inside. The old van had a magic seat in the third row, which was a fold-down seat. Now there's magic slide in the second row. When the middle seat comes out the two remaining ones slide side to side for easy access to the back, or to give more space for the second row passengers. No pixie dust needed. The third row is reasonably comfortable, we sat back there at a preview event in Detroit last month, and there's some leg and headroom for an average sized adult male. Honda has remade its long-running Odyssey minivan with the connected generation and their offspring in mind. The 2018 Odyssey launches this spring with features that help up to eight passengers talk to each other, or more likely zone out and stream web videos. Yes, it has a new design and powertrain, but if you are a new parent, the interior is what you'll care about. There's bevy of new features. Cabin Watch uses a camera to allow front passengers to monitor activity in the back with a feed displayed in the 8-inch high-resolution touchscreen mounted in the dash. A Cabin Talk feature lets the driver talk to passengers by booming their voice through the speakers and headphones. Sally, keep your hands to yourself. The rear entertainment system has a 10.2-inch screen mounted in the ceiling and can stream PBS Kids, Spotify, and other feeds via the minivan's Wi-Fi system public internet or your mobile provider.